Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Coolit Free Zone CPU cooler. What's included in this particular kit is the user's manual, all the materials needed for installation, a fan adapter kit, the thermal control module, and the main unit. This liquid cooling kit comes completely configured, so there's no need for any extra installation like many other liquid cooling kits. It's comprised of a CPU water block, which is all copper and has a smooth base, tubing with wire wrapped around it to prevent the tubes from kinking, two small reservoirs, a small pump, two thermoelectric coolers, a heat sink, and a 92 millimeter fan. How this kit differs from others is it uses thermoelectric coolers. Thermoelectric coolers are most commonly known as Piltier coolers. So what's a Piltier cooler? A Piltier cooler is a cooler that implements a Piltier module. The Piltier module is typically a small and thin device which produces what's called a Piltier effect. The Piltier effect occurs when a current is passed through two dissimilar metals or semiconductors, N-type and P-type, that are connected to each other at two junctions. The current drives a transfer of heat from one junction to the other. One junction cools off while the other heats up. This effect was observed in 1834 by Jean Piltier, 13 years after Seebeck's initial discovery. Basically, it's a charged ceramic substrate that pumps heat from one side to the other. One side is hot and the other side is cold. In this case, the hot surface of the Piltiers are against the heat sink which is cooled by the 92 millimeter fan. The cold side of the Piltiers are against the small reservoirs which cools the liquid inside. This cooled liquid is then circulated through the tubes and the water block by the pump and in turn keeps the CPU cool. The thermal control module is the brains behind the system. It's comprised of a power connection which gets connected into the power supply, a output connection which powers both Piltiers, a three pin temperature sensor connection for the thermal probe which is attached to the top of the reservoir and a three pin fan connection for the 92 millimeter fan. Also, the pump has a lead which gets connected into the motherboard's CPU fan header. The thermal control module uses the thermal probe to detect the temperature of a liquid inside the reservoir. When the temperature hits a specified limit, it will then regulate the components and provide cooling to the CPU. Installation of both the main unit and the thermal control module is simple. The main unit gets installed at the back of the case in the place where a 92 millimeter fan is installed. The thermal control module can be installed almost anywhere, but preferably in a convenient location that would not interfere with other computer parts. Finally, have a listen to the pump and the 92 millimeter fan. This product performs very well, is easy to install, very quiet, and looks great. I really love how they've implemented the Piltiers on the reservoirs. Normally, you'll see them implemented on the heat sink or right on the water block itself, but it does work as the results show. Overall, this is a kick-ass product.
Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgameman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until the next time, take care. Circulated through the tubes and the water. Blood going on. The thermal control module module the CPU which is the case here. This case though they use them on the ra 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 radiator.